So we did an analysis of adverse events um, by exposure to the study drug lutetium PSMA 617, which was in combination with standard of care, uh, specifically looking at the, the main question of was there an increased rate of adverse events in those that had more treatment cycles. Uh, so the, the overall uh, comparison was four or less or greater than four cycles. And then we also looked at incidence per cycle. Uh, the, to remind people of the way that the, the vision study um, was done, it was in men with progressive castration-resistant prostate cancer who had prior exposure to at least one AR pathway inhibitor and at least one taxane chemotherapy who had a positive PSMA PET per the, um, per the, the protocol, which was about 87% of those that were, um, that were tested. Um, there were four cycles that were delivered on, on six week intervals. And then if their patient was responding without high grade toxicity, the patient could continue for another uh, two cycles, up to a total of six cycles. So um, a, a question is, um, with higher exposure, is, are, are there more adverse events? Um, and the answer appeared to be no. So when we look specifically at high-grade adverse events, actually that was more common in those that had less treatment, i.e. less than five cycles versus those that had five to six cycles. That may not make sense absolutely um, if, when we think about exposure, but it does make sense for any type of a treatment because those that have high-grade adverse events may stop the drug earlier. And that looks to be true with lutetium PSMA 617 as well. Um, that being said, the other analysis looking at um, individual adverse events as a general rule did not demonstrate cumulative adverse events. So if someone had um, an adverse event in cycle one that was low grade, it doesn't, didn't necessarily mean that if they got six cycles that it would be high grade, although the overall follow-up um, for anyone receiving this drug is generally not long because it's only been around for, for a little bit of time. Uh, the other comment was that the cycles were determined by the, the total therapy, which is a combination of standard care therapy plus lutetium PSMA 617. So cycle six, where they got a drug, uh, and then they may have continued a standard care drug, such as abiraterone or something like that, might have lasted a year. Um, so the uh, risk, the time to be at risk for adverse events was longer there. So in an analysis, we looked at cycle six just for the first six cycles, like the other cycles, and then um, beyond uh, six cycles, I'm sorry, beyond six weeks. And uh, there were more patients that had higher grade adverse events beyond six weeks, likely reflecting disease progression rather than an, an adverse event um, to the standard care therapy or lutetium PSMA 617, although we can't rule that out.